All right, so in my last video, we did a uh, fan controller conversion, and I'm coming back to this. Like I said in that video, I talked about an orifice to uh, make the fan run at a low speed at all times. Well, a very intelligent individual on the forums had an awesome idea about a needle valve. And I've got one here. This the black, I don't know what this red stuff is. I think that's a some sort of sealant from the manufacturing process, but anyway. Um, the place I bought this from only had the needle valves and pipe thread, which not a huge deal, but it just means more adapters. <laughs> That's okay. We got kind of a steampunk thing going on here, right? Um, the ORB end is the the wax valve end. It'll, it'll sit in, oh, if I can get up here, focus camera, there we go. It'll kind of sit like that. And the uh, darn it, the, the pressure hose will go into this side here. Um, the needle valve. So I can get this to show up on the camera. You can see that little arrow. That's the flow. That's important. So the flow, the pressure. You know, this will go on the pressure line. It flows through the valve this way, and then into the wax valve. Right. So pretty easy. I just had this temporarily stuck together at the moment. The pipe thread stuff with hydraulics, um, pipe dope, don't use Teflon tape, not on hydraulic fitting. If a piece of that Teflon tape comes off inside there, it'll, it'll muck up your, your hydraulics. So, so don't do that if you, if you happen to have pipe thread fittings. Um, the, only, the only reason for dope on pipe threads is for lubrication anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put a little oil on these threads before I torque them down. But anyway, what this does, if I can try to hold a phone here, what this does is you can screw this 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 here down, right? And that'll that'll close the valve, or rather make it make it smaller. And this will make the fan come on. The farther we screw it down, of course, all the way down will make it run full. And then once we get it set to where we like it, again, this is when the engine is cold, um, there's a little nut here we can use to lock it in place so it's always set, yeah? So it's it's very uh, analog, very old school. Um, there's already a couple guys that have done this with needle valves, so I'm, gonna, I'm doing it with mine as well. Um, and I think this will work well. The purpose for, for having the fan run all the time you know, when the engine is cool or, or maybe not necessarily calling for a full-on fan force <laughs> is the uh, AC condenser, the charge air cooler, or rather the CAC, is all sandwiched in the uh, radiator on this rig. I'm, I'm sure it's similar on, on other rigs. Um, they need a little bit of airflow, the, especially the, the AC condenser when, when, like in the summertime, you're you're idling or whatever and maybe the engine's not warmed up yet or maybe it's not completely hot but the AC condenser needs airflow uh, so we'll make this this will make the fan run all the time pull a little bit of air through it the charge air cooler is important too um, but again this is what we deal with going analog so I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, attach all this stuff to the wax valve I'm probably not going to film that part of it because it's pretty straightforward um, anyway Cheers. All right, I've got it all bolted up. Get it to focus here. There we go. That's, uh, it looks like it's not leaking. That's just, uh, what came out when I took the hoses off. There you go. I haven't got it adjusted yet, but I'll do that here in just a minute.
I may have looked out. When I first started, I had the valve backed all the way out. The fan wasn't moving, but uh, I went ahead and started screwing it down, and it came on. So I backed it back off all the way out, and it stayed running. I'm thinking it was just maybe the air still in the line allowing it, you know, a path of least resistance type of thing. But anyway, it seems that this valve that I bought all the way out will, or rather all the way open, will keep the uh, fan running all the time. At, I don't have a, a fancy RPM meter, but it looks like it's moving between 300 and 500 RPM. Just guessing it's not blowing too hard, but that should be about right, really. And if I need more, I'll just I'll just turn that valve down. And I did test it. I screwed it all the way down and the, the fan came on uh, full force. So I backed it back off. Um, you know, it, it that valve was the smallest they had. I thought that would be good enough. It's an eighth inch. Um, what do they call it? Eighth inch uh, MPT or whatever. Um, so you might go with a quarter if you want to go full adjustment all the way out the fan doesn't come on at all type of thing but it seems with this one with an eighth inch with the valve all the way open the fan will still run slowly but it seems like that's just going to be the sweet spot anyway for the uh, AC condenser and the charge air control and this is just idle I didn't crank it up to fast idle yet and see how fast it moved but I'm assuming it's fairly slow because it really honked on when I uh, closed it <laughs> so anyway there you go